I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of love and hate with Cicely Tyson as your hostess. Here's a preview. What makes you so sure? Because it's the way you see yourself. Well, how do you see me? Trapped. In what way? You think there's only one way to make it. And if you can't, you'll drown yourself. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hello, I'm Stan Martin. It's sad that many youngsters feel the only way they can make their mark on our town is with a destructive act or a smear of graffiti. One building on New York's Lower East Side stands apart from the others. Its walls are spotless inside and out. The youngsters who work and play there have earned the respect of the entire city, just as they've learned to respect themselves. I'm talking about the Boys Brotherhood Republic. The BBR has been helping underprivileged boys work their way out of the slums for almost 50 years. By giving them the responsibility of governing and policing themselves, the BBR helps create a set of values which guide its members all their lives. I know because I was a member from the time I was six, and the BBR helped change my life. It's doing the same right now for hundreds of youngsters with no other place to turn but the streets. Help the BBR turn out solid citizens. Please send whatever financial support you can to the Boys Brotherhood Republic, 888 East 6th Street, New York, 10009. Thank you. This is Safety Vision, a quick and easy method for observing potential hazards in your home. Let's start by activating your safety scan. Carefully focus on your appliance cords and plugs. Check to see if they're damaged in any way. And if so, discontinue using the appliance. Next, you should focus on water. Check so that none of your plugged-in electrical appliances can be accidentally immersed in water or any other liquid. And avoid handling an electrical appliance with wet hands or when you are standing on a wet or damp floor. And finally, your safety scan should include checking for the UL label on all electrical appliances. That label indicates that the product design has been evaluated by safety engineers and complies with a nationally recognized safety standard. A public service message on behalf of Underwriters Laboratories and this station. This is Cicely Tyson. This is not a story of a hawk. But the people involved are not unlike raptors or birds of prey. Only the main hawk in our story does not hover over a mouse, talons reaching. The view for him is from the 12th floor of a Hollywood office building. It's been a long time since the man behind the ornate desk has been called a hawk. I thought I made it clear you were not welcome in this office. You are a hawk, Bert. You are a hawk. Ah, ah, Will you get out of here? Ah, You're drunk. Ah, I've had it now ah, for the last time. Get out of here. Hawk. Hawk. You feed on living things. You are drunk. This is not a story about a drunk either. Greed, yes. Rapacity and avarice, yes. Money and power. Fame. The end justifies the means. In this case, the end is a commodity. One that can be sold for an extraordinary price. The commodity is not rare stones or oil or land. The commodity is human flesh. And that's only the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, A Piece of Flesh, by Barney Gerard. Our stars, June Lockhart, Vic Perrin, and Marvin Miller. 
The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop! Come with me on a magic carpet ride to view Sears' Kismet Classic Collection of rugs with the beauty and luxury of genuine oriental creations. Behold, 13 exquisite patterns inspired by great masterpieces of Persia and the Orient. Look upon all nine sizes of Kismet Classic rugs, each of a 100% virgin worsted wool pile. Deep, dense, luxurious. Riding a rug is okay, but decorating with Kismet Classics is heaven on earth. At most larger Sears retail stores, the perfect match to strike this Father's Day. Your dad and Sears Classic Collection separates. All super values. Save $10 on the sport coats, $4 on the slacks or reversible vest. In solid tones that mix and match to give dad many great looks. Like a three-piece suit. Start with solid slacks, now $15.99. Add a solid sport coat, now $39.99. And reversible vest, $14.99. Each Classic Collection separate chosen to fit dad's build. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii at most larger Sears retail stores. We were speaking of hawks and poor souls who drink. An odd combination, it would seem. And yet, there's a connection, as you will hear. Because when there is a need, odd things happen. What would have been impossible becomes matter of fact. As in this office, where the men who program a television network talk and worry. Normal practice in their line of work. Lyman Sachs can't take the heat. I eh? am the first to admit it. I am not orientated to be comfortable in this position. You've only been in second spot one week. It has been 11 years since this network dropped to second place, and it happened while I'm in the driver's seat. Two hours on Monday night could turn it around. We're that close. Close isn't good enough. I've got the answer. William Trevor. William Trevor has not been around for 20 years. Not in person, but those old films of his are very much in the present. Well, the rating is all right for old movies. It's the fan mail. It's unbelievable. I've got the figures in front of Let me. Let me take it chronologically. The Tuesday Night Film Festival. We wanted something cheap. We got junk. But nine of those films featured Trevor, and the response, it took me off the wall. From left field, the fan mail started pouring in. He only made nine films. We've played them but they want more. Let's look at the downside first. I've done some homework. Now, William Trevor didn't disappear 20 years ago. He was run out of town. I'm aware of that. Now, let's look at it together out in the open. Have you read any of the fan mail? Yes, but that's not the point. From what I gather, he freaked out. He had a drinking problem. There was a scandal that involved his wife. She ended up suing him for desertion. I heard Trevor's real name was LeBlanc. He came out of the New Orleans swamps. He hit before he was ready for this town. He didn't know how to handle it. He was accused of burning down his house. That was only a cabin he had out in the desert. There wasn't anything around for miles. Oh, we could go on and on and on. The bottom line is he's got to be close to 50 now. It worked for Hopalong Cassidy. On the upside, I agree with you. We have the vehicle. Gordon's new series, he could handle the father. Well, what do we do about Trevor's background? Ah, Lyman, you can't deny all that mail. We'll take it up at the staff meeting Friday. We'll kick it around. You can't keep that fan mail a secret. He's going to go fast. My understanding is that no one has heard from him in years. How do you find him without tipping your hand? I know this much. Bert Salkin used to be his agent. What do we got to lose, Lyman? Well, we can take a look at him. Lyman, we need a personality to turn around Monday night. Look what the Fonz did for Tuesday. Lyman, if this Trevor is in one piece, we've been blessed with a gift. Bert Salkin's office. Oh, <laughs> fine, Mark. Yes, he's in. Hang on. What is it, Jan? Mark, home be on one. Oh, put him on, then come in. Uh, still waiting on Leland's contract. I'd appreciate it. Uh, who'd you say? 
Oh, sure, Bill Trevor. Sure. Oh, I see him two, three times a year whenever I go to San Francisco. Beautiful man. I love him. Jan, he's talking about Bill Trevor. Oh, he looks wonderful, Mark. No, he, he lives near Calistoga. When I'm in San Francisco, I always drive out to see him. Fan mail must be for real. I talked to Agnes this morning. She had to put on three more people to handle it. Uh, uh, well, what, what's your interest, Mark? I see. He's curious. What a jerk. He must think I'm a ten-year-old boy. Well, it would be my pleasure, Mark. But let me explain, Trevor, to you. He he gave up the business because he wanted to work with handicapped people. He's a teacher. He's out in the sticks, works with retarded children. Uh, no, he doesn't have a telephone. Sure, I can send him a wire. He'll call me, but what'll I tell him? He's insulting my intelligence, first-class jerk. Oh, Mark, you know I respect you. You're straight. That's why I like to do business with you. And that's why I'm going to level with you. Trevor is dedicated to his work. I, I can't ask him to come down here for exploratory talks. Give me something to entice him. And, and why, after all these years, did you think of him? Get on the other phone, take notes. Well, if, if the money was right, I think I could persuade him uh, on one basis. He wants to to uh, uh, build a school in Calistoga. I'm not asking for figures or even talking deal yet. I just want to know what kind of ballpark we're in. He's had offers before and turned them down. Oh. Well, what can I tell you? I saw him at Christmas. He's in great shape. He looks like he's in his early 40s. Uh, 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 Mark... Uh, for, forgive me, I got a London call coming in. I've got to take. Uh, Le uh, now, Leland's contract, he calls me twice a day. Will you get me off the hook? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Cash register bells are ringing, Jan. <laughs> are they? Trevor, William Trevor. Only one small problem. Where are we going to find that bum? Ah. Uh. Watch the birdie. Oh, that's great. Uh, your baby's wearing Sears sleep and play suit, right? Mm-hmm. And that baby stroller with the shovel handles from Sears, too? Right. Uh, why Sears? Because Sears has what I need. Take Winnie the Pooh sleep and play suits. They have double fabric toes, a must for my infant dynamo, and the stroller. That shovel handle lets me move the stroller easily with just one hand. But why the questions about Sears? Well, my wife's expecting. Oh, we get the picture. The t-shirt goes to great lengths and becomes a dress that's a super value from Sears. The t-shirt dress for $13.99 in a bright or soft palette of prints. A great get-together of interesting styles in Easy Care Double Knit Polyester, sizes 8 to 18. Only $13.99 each, thanks to a special purchase. And a Sears special purchase, though not reduced, is an exceptional value. The t-shirt dress, another super value from Sears. Quantities limited. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Nothing but the best for my dad. Like Sears Best Double Knit Slacks on sale for Father's Day. Regular cut slacks are just $13.99. That's $4 off. Choose popular solids and refined patterns in wrinkle-resistant double knit for trail polyester. Top off his day with Sears Best Short Sleeve Knit Sport Shirts. Also at $4 off. Now just $9.99. It's Sears Best for the best guy I know, Dad. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Of one thing you can be sure. If you sell something you don't have, or in this case, something you can't locate, you've set up a grand set of obstacles for yourself. Where in the world are we going to find William Trevor? When was the last time you heard from him? Uh, three, four years ago. Maybe it was five. Where was he? In the county hospital. <laughs> what was he doing there? I didn't talk to him. It was some nurse. I don't look at me like that. Trevor was a pain, a real pain. What did the nurse say? Trevor wanted to see me. You didn't go down there? Of course not. I told you he was a pain. What could I do with a hopeless wino? What can you do now? Well, all of a sudden, he's a commodity. He's hot merchandise. He can be cashed in. <sighs> Should we start with the obituary files? Oh, don't talk that way. The Bureau of Missing Persons. We gotta be as cagey as Mark Holmby and that dope above him, Lyman Sachs. 
Even if we found Trevor, I don't have any contract on him. I threw him out of my office. He kept calling me a hawk. A hawk? Like I would eat living things. Yeah. Yesterday's news. What is important, Trevor won't only bring a price. He can be used as a wedge. I'm listening. They can have Trevor for a price, but we also want monies for Trevor's company to develop new series which Trevor doesn't even have to participate in. As an actor, this opens the door for my other clients, Leland, a few others. We use Trevor as bait. Then we give him back to the dump truck, and I will personally put the lid on. Oh, it's like that, is it? I want to use him in the worst way. I hate his guts. Why? He didn't know his left foot from his right. All I did for him. And he said I ate living things. Mm. Any friends or relatives we can contact? He didn't have any friends. And his wife would kill him on sight. Well, we have to start someplace. Well, there should be some kind of record down at the county hospital. Jan, I don't want anyone else to know about it. Not even in our office. And if you do find him? I cash him in. <laughs> The last time he was admitted here at County Hospital was December the 10th. He was released January the 5th. Uh, that would be the most current. Uh, I could check back through the computer. Oh, that wouldn't do me any good. Uh, was there any kind of address? Yeah, according to the report, he was picked up on Spring Street. The usual, DTs and all. Oh. Uh, my advice to you would be try all the flop houses. I will, and thank you. What's the word, Jan? Not much. I've been through seven flop houses, Bert. The police station... Now, that was a mistake. Were there any reporters around? No. What do you take me for? I told him I was his cousin, that I just came in from Tucson. Well, where do we stand? The last time he was busted was five months ago. He was a regular, so that's a long time. Same routine at the blood bank. They know him, but they haven't seen him for months either. I got something for you, and it dovetails. I took a shot at Lee Carver. I set him up as Trevor's business manager. Well, he got a call late last year. It was from a sanitarium in San Pedro. It was from a nun on the telephone. She said Trevor wanted to see him. Well, he turned her down. That's all he remembers. But how many Catholic sanitariums can there be in San Pedro? I think you should bring in a private detective. Not yet. Only as a last resort. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, who, who is it? All right. Uh, Jan, it's Mark Holmby. I better take the call. I'll stay in the office. You call me from San Pedro. I'm here, Mark. When are you going to San Francisco? Oh, uh, probably Friday. It uh, looks like I'm going to have to be up there, too. I could meet Trevor then. Save a lot of time and travel. Good idea. I sent him a mailgram this morning. I want to make sure he's not on a field trip. You know, sometimes he takes those kids up in the mountains. As soon as it's confirmed, I'll call you back. How can I help you? My name is Jan North. I was told, Sister Teresa, that William Trevor was a patient here. That is true. Unfortunately, he left one night, and I haven't seen him since. Would you tell me about him? He was quite ill. The alcohol had taken its toll, but he responded to treatment miraculously. He was doing fine until we got into the rehabilitation program. That's when we lost him. But I think I know where you might find him. Do you have a pen? Yes. 16 B Street. You'll find an old hotel. It's called the Dixie. There's a wonderful man who runs it. His name is Corey Smith. He always has bed and food, never turns anyone out. It's really the last stop for the losers. Now you stop that now. Stop it. Stop it right now. Bella. Oh. Excuse me, miss. Uh, he's not used to seeing a woman in the lobby. We just have men here. Are you Corey Smith? Why, yes. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for a William Trevor. Oh? He's not in trouble. Oh, then you know him? Well, I might. Well, I... I come here as a friend. Well, no. I don't invade their privacy. Oh, if I could just talk to him. Well, you could leave your name and a phone number. If I see him, I could give him the message. Um... Do you know Sister Teresa at the Sisters of Hope Sanitarium? Oh, very well. Well, my, my name is Jan North. Call her. She sent me here. 
Oh, that's good enough for me. Is he here? Well, he likes to be on the roof. I let him take his blankets. The elevator isn't working. We'll have to walk up. Oh, that's all right. Uh, how long has it been since you've seen him? Oh, I've only seen him in films. I think I have good news for him. I hope so. Now, don't take just what you see. Yes, I, I understand. I hope you do. He's been beaten enough. <laughs> Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. New York, Chicago, St. Louis, Miami, Seattle. Our biggest cities are sending out cries for more VISTA volunteers. VISTA means volunteers in service to America. VISTA volunteers work with groups of inner city residents to tackle the many urban problems that can't be solved alone. By working together with local leaders, entire neighborhoods can be restored. Job training centers can be created. Educational programs, health and legal services can be expanded to reach all who need them. VISTA means working through the democratic process to better our cities. Community people are learning that they can have a voice in making the decisions that affect their lives. VISTA volunteers come from all backgrounds. Many come from the neighborhoods they work in. They all share one conviction, that self-reliant, self-confident, caring individuals can make a difference in a community. America needs more VISTA volunteers. Put yourself where you're needed. Call 800-424-8580 or write VISTA, Washington, D.C., 20525. A public service of this station and action. Eight ball in the side pocket. He'll never make that shot. Hey, that's a beauty. Yeah, he cut it to the inside. Say, where's Kessler tonight? He's out walking with his dog. Sure does like that dog, doesn't he? Well, you know, he had a heart attack last Christmas, and he's got exercise to build up his heart. Walking is exercise? It's a lot better exercise than pushing that pool cue, bingo. It helps your circulation, and that's what Kessler needs. We could all use some exercise. Look at that gut. I don't know. Shooting pool with this bun sure takes it out of me. Are we moving too fast for you, Bingo? Is the strain too extreme? The strain of exercise may be too extreme if it's been a while. See your doctor first. With an examination, he can determine what kind of exercise program is right for you. Contact your American Heart Association for more information. We're fighting for your life. In his last picture, released in 1963, he was tall, virile, had sensitive eyes, a tremendous presence. He possessed an undercurrent of humor that was completely appealing. But that was over 15 years ago. Now the same man is asleep on the roof of a flop house. Could it be the same man? Watch your step now. Stay only on the boards, if you would. Yes, I will. Thank you. I, uh, I don't see him. Oh, he's cuddled up next to the vent. Uh, over there. Oh, yes. Oh, I see him now. Yes, he had quite a load when he came in, but he should have slept most of it off. Uh, do you want me to wait? No, no, I'll be all right. Well, I'll be down in the kitchen if you want me. Thank you. Bill. Bill. <coughs> Maybe you're at, at the wrong bed. I'm getting out in the morning. <coughs> We're on the roof, Bill. Corey's roof. Uh, you got a cigarette? Yes. Um. Yeah. I'll light it. Just leave the pack out. And... Why not? Oh. <laughs> You're one of those. Huh? What does that mean? <sighs> Go away. <coughs> Wait a minute. I'm not leaving. I need... Two dollars, so I can stay here tonight. I'll give it to Corey. No, no, no. I, I, I'll do it. Where can you buy a bottle of wine for two dollars? Oh, around the corner. 
Are you in pain? <sighs> Wounded in the war. A drink could help. Bill, I'll buy you a drink. But spare me those trite lines. <sighs> oh. You don't... You don't sound like a social worker. No, I'm a hard-nosed businesswoman. I can't see you very well. Your eyes are swollen. <laughs> Business? Here? <laughs> I wish I could laugh. I wish I could, too. The odds of putting you back together are grim. Why bother? Bill, you could be sold for six figures. Maybe more. Are you alone? Yeah, and give me some good news. I've had a rough day. Oh, I don't know whether it's good or not, but I found him. Beautiful. We're home. He's a mess, a cadaver. We'll pump him up. Oh, with formaldehyde? Okay, okay. I've been fencing with jerks all day. Where is he? And give it to me straight. Okay, but I'm not happy with any of this. He's, um... Well, he's in the back seat of my car. We're in San Pedro, and he's in the back seat because that's where I gave him the wine. He got sicker, and then he passed out. I'm going to take him to an emergency. No, 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 now, you listen to me. You know, I always think ahead. Drive up to Doctor's Ranch in Newhall. By the time you get there, I'll have made arrangements for whatever we need. And I'll be there waiting for you. Jan, are you there? Yes. I mean, are you with me? So far. I'll bring him to Doctor's Ranch. <laughs> Last call for drinks. It's ten till two. Keep the bar open. I've taken over the place. Well, let's put it this way, Mr. Sultan. There will be bottles in your rooms. Oh, please, Bert, give me a scotch. Make it a double. I'll fix it. I don't know why you're so down. Oh, you saw him. You helped me get him into his room. Wasn't a doctor and a nurse here? Do you know when I had a promise at Beverly Hills Quack? A piece of the action. He's death warmed over. He should be in an intensive care ward. If that's what the doctor orders, but we can do it here. Nobody comes up to this damn dude ranch anymore. Besides, I've tied it up for two weeks. We got it all to ourselves. What's going to happen when he comes to and sees you? I'll flash him dollar signs. Speaking of the almighty dollar, Dr. Torn is descending on us. <laughs> be nice. Oh, how we doing, doctor? Can I get you a drink? Thank you. Uh, gin with a splash of tonic. I'll leave it on the bar. Uh, you can mix it. Good night. Yeah, I'll handle it. Well, tell me, Doctor, what do you think? Physically? Well, like I told you, that's all I'm interested in. Two weeks? No more. Two months would be better. I only have two weeks. What can you do? Physically? You heard me. Well, I can treat him, but... Uh... We have to consider his attitude. Whatever you have to do, just remember, two weeks from today, I'm going to expose him to Mark Holmby and Lyman Sachs. You're asking for a miracle. Late afternoon in the paternal room, in candlelight. I'll bring him in and get him settled before jerks one and two arrive. I got to call into my dentist, and I've already talked to Jay Lauren, the makeup man. He's a genius. Well, he'll walk and talk, but I can assure you that his hands are going to be shaking fiercely. Can't you give him a shot of something just before the meeting? Hey, hey, Jan, where are you going? To get some air. If he cooperates, you might get away with it, but uh, he won't be in any condition to work for at least six, eight weeks. No problem. Mrs. Parker isn't going to be much help if he insists on a drink. Mrs. Parker? No, the nurse. Oh. Well, I'm taking care of that, too. Eddie Baker was his gopher. He got him through the last two pictures. He'll be here late tonight. Well, he should sleep through the night. Yeah, I'll be back in the morning. Come in. How is he, Mrs. Parker? He woke up early this morning, then he went back to sleep. I'm awake. Excuse me, um, I'm going to get some coffee. Uh, how did I get here? <coughs> I brought you. I don't remember. Did you tell me it... Never mind, I I know this place. Where am I? Doctor's Ranch, in Newhall. Oh, I don't believe it. Why? Because of me, Bill, that's why you are here. Predator, raptor, 
Hawk. I can help you. I just can't believe there's something left that you want from me. <laughs> are, are you with him, Streetcar? <laughs> streetcar? He has to have a name for everyone. <laughs> Bill, I want you to listen to me. Mm. He's gone back to sleep. Bill! He needs the sleep. Where's the nurse? Uh, went to get some coffee. And Eddie? Having breakfast. I don't want him left alone one minute. And why don't you chain him to the bed? If I have to. What is it, Jan? It's Mark on the phone. I'll take it. And you come in here. Hello, Mark. Is there any truth to this story about Paramount and Trevor? I want you to level with me, Bert. Uh, Howard called me. I, I gotta tell you, Mark, and you know I'm on your side, but that fan mail Trevor's getting is no longer top secret. I've had three more calls today, including your good friend on the other network. I thought we were going to work together. I got a nosy client. I don't want to lose him. I got to talk to these people. Mark, it's not you. I give you an exclusive voice crack if it was just you. But I don't trust Lyman. I thought I had a deal for Leland. I still haven't got a signed contract. You'll have it today. I, that's my word. Well, Bert, why don't we have dinner tonight? Talk a deal. Make sure we're in the same ballpark. Contingent, of course, on a meeting with Trevor. I want Lyman to be there. He'll be there. Well, let me see if I can change a few things. I'll get back to you. Trevor is bringing in bread already. You mean Leland? We'll have the contract before the day is out. What time is it? Uh, 11.10. You better get out to the ranch. Listen, I've plugged up all the holes but one. You don't have Trevor's signature on a client contract. Right. It's in my briefcase. You won't have any problem getting him to sign it. What makes you think so? I'm the hawk. You're a streetcar, whatever that means. Let's put it this way, Jan. I like the way he looks at you. <coughs> Where's Bert? In the bar. What's bugging you? What's well, not like before, you know, drying him out. I think he should be in a hospital. If something happens, we could be nailed as conspirators. That goes for you too, Jan. Um, do me a favor, Eddie. Keep Bert in the bar. You got it. Bill? Bill, it's Jan. Uh, I hear your wheels, streetcar. <laughs> How are you doing? Tired. Well, I'll come back later. Uh, stay. I want to talk. Tell me. I know the hawk. He wouldn't be doing this unless it was real. How real is it? Very real. Hmm. Hard to believe. I know. Do you want it? I always have. Yes, but do you want it now? Why wouldn't I? Have you thought about it? Not for a long time. There was no reason. And think back. Maybe you didn't want it. You're the one who made it impossible. I just couldn't live with them. Who's them? Bert. All of them. Vultures. Kill you. Eat you alive. And what were you? Oh, I know. I guess that was my way of fighting them. I wasn't very bright. No, you weren't. The system. The way it worked. They treated me when I wasn't looking at... like I was corned beef on a rack. They haven't changed. Hmm? I'm not as sensitive. Not anymore. I am. Well, you're here. Next week I'm giving Bert notice. Now that's just between you and me. I'm going to Seattle. Seattle? What's better up there? I'm going to build a boat from scratch. Well, what's in it for you? I'll find out. I don't get it. I'm going to build a boat because I've never done it before. Well, you're looking better, Bill. The nurse tells me your temperature is down. I'm pleased. I 
think I'm going to need another pill. Well, I want to take your blood pressure. Uh, may I see you in the hall, Doctor? Yes, I'll be right back, Bill. What is it, Jan? Don't you think he should be in a hospital? Now, look, I'm not going to stick my neck out that far. If, if I thought he should be in a hospital, he'd be there. Well, I asked. The next few days are going to be rough. He's strong enough now that I can take him off the medication, and his nerves are going to be raw and screaming for help. And we'll get him through it. The real problem is after. He'll be sober, but if he can't cope, well, he'll go right back to the bottle. I, uh, I uh, did my best, Jan. Oh, Eddie. Bert wants to see you in the bar. Uh, all right. Thank you, Doctor. Want a drink? Uh, no. Did he sign? I didn't get to discuss the contract. Well, I've got to have it. How can I make that meeting tonight? Uh, well, Dr. Torn came in before I had a chance. It's got to be today. I don't want to be in a position of selling something I'm not sure I own. I hear you. I'm, I'm getting bad vibrations from you. Something is coming down. What is it? Well, to quote you, Bert, everything is timing. When it's time... You'll be the first to know. That really makes me trust you. You don't trust me anyway. Who cares? I do. Now, let's not get personal. I don't talk about my mother, and I don't want to hear about your mother. Then don't question how I say hello to you. What about the contract? As soon as the doctor leaves. The contract came in for Leland. So we're swinging, huh? Uh, don't forget it. He'll sign. But don't you forget. It will just be a piece of paper. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radio Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radio Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. When my brother was my age, being in style meant wearing old jeans and about a pound of dirt. But today, us guys are more sophisticated in our style. And that's why Sears has Style Works. A guy can pick up on the latest styles in jeans, tops, sweaters, and dress your clothes like vested suits. I can depend on the Style Works shop at Sears for just about everything to keep me looking great. And the prices? Pretty reasonable. My folks like that. Style Works. Today, style's all in one place. At most larger Sears retail stores. Whisper Glide. Whisper Glide. Sears Best Whisper Glide Travis Rods offer you more features than any other line of Travis Rods anywhere. Whisper Glide. So if you're decorating or redecorating, choose these. Whisper Glide. Their design features remarkably smooth drawing. And Sears' own non tilt carriers help keep your drapery straight. Best yet, there's a size and a style of Whisper Glide Travis Rods to fit just about every decorating idea. Whisper Glide. Our best at most larger Sears retail stores. Cicely Tyson again And here's the concluding act of A Piece of Flesh Now sit down, Jan I'm calling the ranch I want a progress report from Eddie Hello, it's uh, Bert Salkin Put Eddie on the phone do you realize, Jan, we've only got tomorrow left? The day after we cut him loose. I told Mark I was picking Trevor up at the airport, and I take him right to the paterno room. Eddie, how's he doing? Oh, he was up most of the night pacing, but that's par for the course. Yeah. He finally falls asleep about five in the morning, but he's up at eight. How's his hands? Not good. He's got to go back to the dentist at three. I tell you, that trip to the dentist yesterday made him very tight. Oh, you can handle it. Has he asked for a drink? Not really. What does that mean? We jokes about it. Huh. Keep me posted. Jan, the less now he sees of me, the better. I want you to go out and stay at the ranch until I'm ready to pick him up. All right. The makeup man will be there at 7. Doc Torn will come in at 11 to give him a shot. Just to quiet his hands and relax him. I'll be there at 11.30. We'll talk periodically on the phone. 
You want me to go now? Eddie's not too bright. I'd feel better if you're there. Okay, I'm on my way. Mind if I join you? I saw you come in with an overnight bag. You gonna help Eddie babysit? Oh, you could call it that. <laughs> Have you given Bert notice? Day after the meeting. That's my commitment. What happens after you build the boat? I'll sail someplace. Where? Oh, I don't know. My main interest is to set my compass. But that's where I'm different from you. I, I'm going to set my compass and be ready for change. You're stuck with permanency. <laughs> that's news to me. You have this self-image. You've, you've got to project and maintain, even if it's going to make you miserable. It's the way you think you see yourself. You got that image when you were very young. You wanted to be a star. Show everybody you were a somebody. Be honest now. Isn't that true? It's true. You grow and you change, but you hang on to that old image because you're really afraid to change. So you can never see yourself in the present. Can you? <laughs> well, that's where I'm heading. I've made the first step. I no longer identify with the person I thought I was. And now, now in my time and place in life, I'm going to find out what I need. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I've got to make it here. Well, you could make it somewhere else. Why does it have to be here? It's what I want. Are you sure? I'd be running away again. From what? Tell me. Well, what I started. It starts with yourself. Well, that's enough. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, you, uh, you asked me about my boat, and I just got carried away. You're sorry because you don't want to make any waves. Your job is to keep me tranquilized so I can make that meeting tomorrow. Oh, you'll make that meeting whether I'm here or not. What makes you so sure? Because it's the way you see yourself. Well, how do you see me? Trapped. In what way? You think there's only one way to make it. And if you can't, you'll drown yourself. I am an actor. That's my profession. That's all I want to be. Would you be an actor in a small repertory theater in Colorado Springs? You would not. You want to be loved by the world. Well, wouldn't you? No. First, I want to love myself. Then I want to be able to love somebody else. And who knows... From there, I might be able to go out and love the world. And they'll love you back. When there's enough of us, we'll all be loving each other. You believe that? <laughs> it's better than what I've got. One thing I do know, I'll find out. And if it doesn't work, I'm not going to deceive myself. I'll try to match something else to fit with who I am. Oh, there are a lot of options, Bill. And I'll find one that'll make me happy. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Only, uh, you don't match up with the way you talk. In what way? You talk about your commitment to Bert. And you come on with me like Bert doesn't exist. Oh, you don't understand. The commitment is to myself. I work on a percentage. That's how Bert operates. He believes if you're not on a fixed salary, your insecurity ensures him of his being the wagon master. <laughs> He just has to barely tug on the reins, and that's the way you move. You got your cut if you hang in until after the meeting. No. I'll lose it. Well, then what are you waiting for? To see what you're going to do. Why? Look, we learn from each other. It was important to me to tell you how I feel. Now I want to see how you'll react. I don't know about you, streetcar. I think you're afraid of me. Why this kind of interest in me? Because you're somebody. Operator. I want 555-2055. Mr. Trevor, call and collect. Bill, what, what are you doing? I'm calling Bert. You know what time it is. It's 3.30 in the a.m. I know. I have your party. Go ahead. Bert. Uh What's wrong? Ah, ah, ah. What time is it now? Quarter.
quarter to five. He should be here any minute. I can hear him coming down the hall. Like I told you, he didn't take time to change his socks. Uh, what's going on, Eddie? Oh, you here too, streetcar? Eddie, I Bill. I want you to tell me just what... You can what... talk to me directly, Bert. What am I paying you for, Eddie? What has Eddie got to do with it? Now, now Bill, you, you let me handle this, huh? Uh, Bill, listen, but Bert just hauled it's me in. It's not Eddie that's on the block, it's me. You treat me like I'm some kind of prop. Don't you think I breathe, I feel... Bill, this is a big day for me. I put a lot into it. The makeup man is going to be here in an hour. I got Doc Torn on his way. Everything has to go off like I planned it. Don't you want to know why I called you? Then talk to me after the meeting. No. You're going to listen to me. Stan, I don't like this. I think you better listen to him, Bert. Bert, I called because I wanted to see you. I was going to ask you to postpone the meeting a few days. I wanted time to think. But you just solved that problem for me in less than 20 seconds. I don't need time to think. There isn't going to be any meeting. You can cancel it. You can't stop being a louse. That's how you see it. Louse! Eddie, go home. Come on, Jan, let's get out of here. He makes me sick. I'll be with you in a minute. Now, you don't have to wait until after the meeting. What about you? I gotta be honest. I don't know much about boats. Try it. It may still turn out you really want to win an Oscar. My dad's power hungry because he's anxious to tackle new projects with power tools for Father's Day. At Sears, find super values in a Craftsman reversible drill, saber saw with manual scroller, and dual action pad sander, each at $20 savings, now just $29.99. And check Sears heavy duty router with case at $43 savings, based on regular separate prices in Sears current power hand tool catalog. So this Father's Day, let Craftsman satisfy your power hungry dad while you save money at Sears. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. This Father's Day, the sweet smell of success isn't sweet at all. For when you give that exceptional man in your life a gift of English leather or British sterling fragrances from Sears, he'll smell of success simply and wonderfully. Their manly scents, musky, spicy, mellow, distinctive. English leather, British sterling. Choose these or many other popular men's fragrances at Sears. Dad's always been willing to give you the shirt off his back. So this Father's Day, show Dad how much you appreciate him with a luxurious-looking dress shirt from Sears. Ultressa dress shirts, now 25% off. They're handsome, short-sleeve, permapress shirts of Easy Care Dacron polyester. Yet Ultressa dress shirts have the look and feel of silk. Choose from solids, patterns, and textured solids, all at 25% off. Now $7.49 to $10.50. Sale ends June 16th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. A Piece of Flesh was written by Barney Gerard, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your hostess was Cicely Tyson. Our stars were June Lockhart, Vic Perrin, and Marvin Miller. Featured in the cast were Len Berman, Jack Carroll, Gene Howell, Howard Culver, Ben Wright, and Barney Phillips. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.